the whole world watching. Volvo, baby! Frankfurt got it! Yeah! The Frankfurt Galaxy and Rhinefire shared a game and a day to remember. It is time to rock and roll! It's a rock and roll, baby! On June 14th in Frankfurt, Germany, the NFL Europe League played their World Bowl. It was a duel in mud and rain and a magnificent display of American football. Yes, touchdown! What a grab! What a grab! Oh, you hear fire! Oh, you hear fire, baby! Yeah. But more than just a game, it was a building block, a stepping stone, that showed the world the power and promise of the NFL. World Bowl festivities kicked off with a pre-game power party outside Frankfurt's Waldstadion, attended by over 40,000 energetic football fans. The concept of the pre-game party originated in the United States, but it was perfected here in Europe. The Americans have never seen a tailgate party until they come here. Yeah, this, this is a tailgate, tailgate party! party. <laughs> hey! 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 Ooh. Ooh. Uh, I want to know! If you be my love, small life, be a firm, sexy, but not... party has rides for the young at heart, thrills for the more adventurous, and gives fans a chance to celebrate their team's fortunes. If your favorite team isn't playing, you're still welcome to join in. Boom, 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 let me hear say Claymores, Claymores. Boom, 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 let me hear say Claymores, Claymores. Boom, 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 let me hear say Claymores, Claymores. Let us us. Indeed, the most enduring images of the power party and the World Bowl itself are people from different cultures with different allegiances, all coming together to enjoy a common bond in the game they love. This year we've been to 15 games on the road and we've had such a great time. We've been to every single NFL Europe city this year. It's all big family. If you look around, everybody is here, even the teams. Barcelona is here, it's Scotland here. And we're not in the World Bowl, but we come to Frankfurt anyway because it's a great party and we love our German friends. Everybody is here and everybody is celebrating together. So, you know, it's... We're a big family. We love the game, the game is good, and the Americans love the game, but it's the fans, it's meeting the European fans, it's all Europe together, and we are so friendly, and we have barbecues together, and they come to Scotland, and we go to Germany, and we go to Amsterdam, and we meet so many people, and it's just, it's all friends together, it's just the European Union. As kickoff approached, the party moved inside. A visit by former Galaxy quarterback Paul Justin, now with the NFL Cincinnati Bengals, was just a small piece of the pageantry that draped the World Bowl celebration. And as the teams took the field, the championship feeling was in the air. <laughs> With 
both fans and players ready to go, the 1998 World Bowl was underway. The Rhine Fire took first possession, and they wasted little time in proving they were ready to seize the moment. Out with an ankle injury, right up to game time, they hope he can play. Arianas in a little gimmick play on first down, wide open, is Robinson. Robinson gets down to the 26-yard line. That long bomb set up a field goal chance for Manfred Bergsmuller, who at age 48 is the oldest professional football player in history. His kick was a reminder of the previous week's regular season finale between these two teams, when Frankfurt relied on their native-born kicker. I was real nervous before the kick, and the coach just asked me, are you going to make it? And I said, yeah. Now, Kleinman, with 42 seconds left, will attempt the winning field goal from the 37-yard line. Got the leg. Wow. Got the ball. First thought I had was, like, thank the fans, because I heard them cheering for me all game long, all night long, and uh, that was pretty amazing to me. like a dream came through and uh, I think every kicker dreams about a kick like that and especially going to the World Bowl afterwards. How both teams got to the World Bowl was clear. What lay ahead in this game was yet to be determined. With Ryan leading three to nothing, Frankfurt looked to move the ball, but could find no openings. That hole was filled up fast. Then, a heavy rain blanketed the field and temporarily doused any offensive fireworks. Look at this rain. It just is absolutely dumping here right now. But late in the first quarter, Ryan mastered the elements on their way to a 10 to nothing lead. 37 to go in the first quarter. Arianas with time. He's got a man open. Touchdown! When you see the middle of the field wide open, you want to stick it right in there. He did an excellent job of finding the hole. The alley of birds catching the ball. As the skies changed from rain to rainbows, so did Frankfurt's fortunes change in the second quarter. With the Galaxy driving, quarterback Chris Ditto found his rugged and reliable tight end. And Hipmer, the pride of Frankfurt, gets down to the two-yard line and a first down. Werner Hitler, allocated by San Diego in 1997, wants to get back to the NFL where he had a shot. From there, Jermaine Cheney found the end zone. The touchdown changed the complexion of the game and gave the crowd the chance to show why NFL Europe fans are among the best fans in the world. 47,846 in attendance here. People here in Germany love football. It's always very noisy. Uh, the fans are really into it. They have whistles and clappers. They have a whole drum. You cannot explain it to somebody who, who never watched the game. It's just a big party. It, it's sort of a, it's a great place. It's a great atmosphere to be in. The atmosphere here is, is great. And I, you know, I wish we could take it back home with us. The World Bowl frenzy was not an isolated affair but rather a foreshadowing of a seismic change in the landscape of European sports. Well, you see the little kids running around with footballs now, not with soccer balls like it used to be. In like another five years, I'm making football will be one of the big, big, big sports here in Europe. Frankfurt's touchdown seized the game's momentum. Last week, we were down 10 points in four minutes. We got plenty of time. 
go. Hey, Jim. Look at Hey, don't force anything down the middle. But Ryan quickly stole that momentum back. The offensive explosiveness that characterized their season was summed up in a beautiful combination of touch and timing. The Alley Overt second touchdown gave the Fire a 17-7 halftime lead and forced Frankfurt to regroup in the locker room. We get the fall first, let's take the ball down, stick it in the end zone. Defense turn it, let's go. Hey, you got, thir you got 30 minutes, 30 minutes to save this sucker and prove what you're made of, all right? All, every ball, everybody gotta do is stand up and be counted, right? All right, let's go now, let's stand up and be counted. Let's make some things happen, let's go. An exhausting first half left both teams searching for something extra. The Galaxy became the first team to find their second win by driving for a field goal in the opening minutes of the third quarter. That forced Ryan's defense to bring more heat and find its heart. Ryan began to punish Frankfurt's offense and completely shut down the air attack. Ryan's ability to get to the Galaxy quarterback while protecting their own signal caller became the seeds that sowed a championship harvest. Three, Trey, two, draw. As often happens in big games, the second half became not a contest, but a coronation. Marcus Robinson, Robinson one man to beat. Robinson will score, touchdown. The touchdown throw to league offensive MVP Marcus Robinson spelled the end of Frankfurt's chances. I knew you saw you go at first. I was, and then I saw you break it, I was like, oh, nice job. Hey, way to throw it. That was a great catch, and you ran away from there. Late in the fourth quarter, a touchdown run by John Vaughn finished the score. Wide open hole for John Vaughn. Vaughn trying to get to the corner and does. Touchdown, John Vaughn. Two championship teams battled for 60 minutes, but there could only be one winner. The Rhine Fire were World Bowl champions. Hey, we're getting that ring, baby. It's time for the trophy presentation, the World Bowl Trophy, going to the Rhine Fire. the millions of people who watch the game on television today. You're the greatest fans in the world. Alexander Leibrin, Galen Hall, Fine Fire Spieler, Fine Fire fans, here's a devil! After taking possession of the coveted prize, the Rhine players carried it across the field on one of the most joyous journeys any championship trophy had ever traveled.
The Rhine Fires championship team was an enduring symbol of NFL Europe, with veterans aspiring to the NFL, national players living out a dream, and a host of single-minded men who play football simply because it is a grand game. You went out and you played the way you can. I'm so proud of you. Be proud of yourself. Be proud of yourself. You accomplished something that no one else in this league could, guys. You're the world champion. Champs, all three. One, two, three. World champs! Woo! Yeah!